everyone. Welcome to uh, MCTV's uh, Virtual Tech and Treats for September 2020. My name is Jonathan Grabowski. I'm the Executive Director here at MCTV. And we're here to talk about a new piece of equipment at MCTV, our LED ring lights that we just purchased. Uh, we're always investing in new equipment, looking at new ways to, you know, get, see, see what's the latest and greatest out there. Also equipment that's also user-friendly to our members. Uh, we have members of all ages, skill sets, things that they do. And we want to get them equipment that they can use. And especially now in this post-COVID world, um, it's important that members can have equipment they can take home, you know, pretty quickly and produce content. If they're not comfortable lugging equipment around, they can kind of take equipment home that's really easy to use and take it with them. So I'm going to introduce Haley Herman, who's our production assistant, and she's going to take over and talk about the ring light and what it does. And also just remember that this is, you know, Tech and Treats is just here to be, is very much here to be like a 5,000 foot overview of a piece of equipment. Um, we're not going to get into the nitty gritty because that's not what Tech and Treats is for. That's for you to come in, you know, make time to step out with a member of the staff, whether it be Haley or Jen or someone else, and really dig in and learn about the ring light and what it can do for you in your production. So, you know, if you have questions and all that, the best thing to do is, you know, schedule time with the member of the staff to really kind of dig in on those questions and really work, use the ring light, you know, hands on. So with further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Haley to take on over. All right, thank you. So hello everyone, my name is Haley Herman. I am the production assistant here at MCTV and I'm super excited today because we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite pieces of equipment, which is the ring light we just got. So I do have a little presentation that goes over kind of the basics of it. So I'm going to share my screen so you can all see it. All right, and then, can everyone see that? Awesome. All right, so yeah, welcome everybody to Tech and Treats for September, where we're gonna talk about how you can use the ring light. And so we're gonna kind of go over the basics. Um, the, ring, the basics of the ring light we have, the specific one we have available at MCTV is the Westcott 18 inch LED ring light, uh, which once I get out of here, I can drop that link into the chat so you can take a closer look at it, see all the different parts. And so what is a ring light? Um, a ring light is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's an LED light shaped like a circle, why it's called a ring light. And what makes the ring light so cool is that it is so useful for producing content at home, especially things like creating vlogs. A lot of YouTubers use ring lights when they make videos. Live streams, they're very useful if you wanna stream video games on Twitch, a lot of Twitch streamers use it. And even simple photography, if you wanna take some fancy pictures with your phone or you have a camera at home, the ring light is awesome for that. And so why should you use a ring light? You know, we have all these options for lights you can rent out here at MCTV or lights you can get for your own productions anywhere else. So why should you use a ring light specifically? Um, well, in general, LED lights, uh, are great because they don't overheat or get too warm. So other options you have like tungsten lights or softbox lights, those tend to get very warm after a while. So you can't really use it for a long period of time because if you're sitting in front of it, you start getting all hot and then you, know, you do run that risk of overheating. LED lights, you can use them for an extended period of time and you don't have to worry about that, which is what makes the ring light awesome. Uh, the ring light is super lightweight. It is very easy to move around. It's very easy to adjust. You know, the first time I picked it up, I kind of was preparing for it to be very big and I went like this. So it is super light, very easy to carry around. You put it in the trunk of your car to take it home and it's all set. Um, the ring light we have is very easy to use and it's very easy to learn the basics of it. Um, when I first used the ring light, it took me probably about, I would say around 15 and 20, 20 minutes to sort of get the basics of it. Um, and also our ring lights do come with a little instruction manual from the manufacturer that show you kind of the basics of changing the settings, adjusting the light, putting it on and off on the stand and things like that. Um, what's really good about the ring light is that you have the option to either use your smartphone or if you do have a camera, you can use a camera to film. And it makes your video look super professional with just this one piece of equipment. Um, I'm actually using the ring light right now. It's in kind of an awkward position because I have it by my computer monitor, but it's very, it's even good for things like this. A lot of people use ring lights in their Zoom meeting because you want to look cool, you want to look fancy. So yeah. And then what's also cool is smartphones nowadays have the most amazing quality cameras in the world. So you put a 
a smartphone on this and you're using this ring light, you're gonna have a super awesome video. And so these are the parts of the ring light. Everything you see here comes in the, in the kit we rent out at MCTV. Uh, I do have a video later on that will show just very basic how to put it together so you know what you're kind of getting into. Um, but I'm going to go into each of them a little bit in depth here. So as you see here, uh, if you see my mouse, that's the actual ring light. And then over here is the light stand. Um, and then you have this. This is the power source. If you want to plug it into the wall, you also have the option. It does come with batteries as well. Um, I personally prefer the power source. The batteries are a little, uh, a little hard to put in. I had some trouble with them. They're kind of tricky to get right, so I prefer the power source. And then you have all of these to attach a camera or a phone. Uh, you'll see here, this is best for a camera if you're gonna, if you prefer to use a DSLR or a digital camera. And then this right here is what I would use to put my phone on. So this is a little phone holder, similar to what you'd find if you bought a phone holder for your car to slip to slide your phone into. And this is just a little stand for that that you can adjust, uh, bend as, as you needed. And so this is how to set up a ring light. So I'm gonna go into it here and then I do just a video I put together just again, showing how to put it together so you kind of know what you're getting into. So first, the ring light comes with a stand that you'll set up first. If you've ever rented a tripod before or used a tripod for a camera, it's kind of similar to that. It's kind of the same concept, I guess you could call it, where you'll twitch the, twist the latches at the side to kind of loosen and extend each part, you know, spread out the legs and then uh, extend it to adjust the height. And then you're going to attach the light, attach the light. So if you saw in the previous slide, you can't really see it here, but there's that little switch at the side or little kind of latch at the side where you can twist that and then it will loosen the actual light so you can slide it onto the stand. And then after that, you'll be able to adjust the height of it as you need to. So you can twist each part and then just move it up and down based on where you want to put it, where how tall your subject is. Um, you just want to be very careful while the light itself is attached. Uh, the ring light, it's very lightweight, but also it tends to be a little wobbly, so you just want to be a little careful. And then, like I said before, you have the option to use the power source to plug in. So there's one part that goes into the back, and then there's another part that you plug into an outlet, or the light comes with batteries that will keep it powered for up to 70 minutes. All right, and so now we're going to get to attaching equipment to the ring light. So you have two options for equipment. You can either attach your smartphone or you can use a camera. So the ring light comes with two separate attachments, with two attachments that you can choose to put a phone or a camera on. And setting it up is kind of a similar process to setting up a camera on the plate of a tripod um, because you're sort of kind of twisting it in and then adjusting it. So if you're using a phone, the ring light comes with an adjustable holder for your phone, like I showed you before. And like I said, very similar to a phone mount for a car, you just slide it in. And then for a camera, it comes with um, a plate's not exactly the right term, but it does come with, if you can see it here, uh, this little camera stand, which you can also use if you wanted to put your phone on this as well. But I would suggest using this specifically for a camera because uh, the other kind of little uh, twisting stand is not, would not be very secure for something heavier than a phone. So I would recommend this personally if you're going to use a camera. All right. And then so I do have this little video here that just, it's very basic, very short. It's really just showing you how to put it together because I figured this would be easier than me trying to do this over the computer right now. So, all right, let's just take a look and then show you how to put the ring light together.
Let me. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, let me just get my presentation a little sorted out here. So yeah, so if you saw at the end, that's that was my little part that I kind of put in just to show how good the ring light makes your video look, even if you just have your phone. Um, and I do also want to demonstrate for a little bit. I only show I showed a phone in that video because I figured, you know, like if you, I figured most people would kind of be more a little bit interested in that. But I do want to show you really quick also if you wanted to use a camera with this. Oops that down really quick. Uh, so you see kind of these together. So basically what I did at least, um, I can't really show it on the light because I don't have that right here, but basically it is, oh sorry, I should put that on camera. So you're kind of just twisting it in and like that. And then it rests on the camera like this. Um, obviously, you should do this the other way around. You should put the stand on the light first and then the camera because trying to twist around a whole camera is a little tricky. And then the way you would adjust this is you see kind of right at the side, there's this little, it's a little switch that you would twist to loosen and then this will help you kind of straighten it out. Uh, it's a little tricky. It took me a little bit to get it right. I actually, I did film something uh, with a DSLR on the ring light, and I thought it looked okay, and then it ended up being tilted. So it takes, it does take a little bit of practice, but in a matter of time, honestly, this is super easy to learn, and it is super awesome, and it is going to make, it's going to make doing productions at home amazing. Like me, me and my roommates were able to do little kind of photo shoots on this. We took pictures together, just setting the self timer on the camera. So it's easy to learn and you can have so much fun with this and the potential to do pretty much whatever you want with this is kind of endless. So yeah, that's basically kind of just sort of the overview of the ring light. And does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask? Ellie, one thing I, if you could discuss is the color temperature. Yes. Changing that. How so do you there talk, is talk about chalk. Does now this light does color ch color temperature change? If you want, if you mind talking about that a little bit, please. Yeah. So there's a switch on the. Let me go back and see if I can sort of point it out on here. So you see in the ring light parts, there's that little switch kind of over there. If you can see that. So that light that switch has three settings. Um, the first setting is you just adjust it and twist it to adjust the brightness. So you kind of see I'm doing that right now. That's adjusting how bright the light goes. Just twist that. Don't want it too bright or else you're kind of blown out. And then so what you'll do is, I can probably show you on this, but it's a little, a little bit. <laughs> so what you can do is you push it down and that will bring you to the settings for color temperature. And on the back, you'll see numbers. So if you turn it toward I just have to look at that really quick. You turn that to like around like 3,200, things like that. That'll make it a little warmer. And then, whoop, hang on. Sometimes you gotta play with the settings a little bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then you see there, I turned into the other, other direction and then that made it cooler. And so that was, I believe around 40, yep, 4,600. So around like the four, uh, like, yeah, 4,600. So around like kind of like 30, whatever, 100, that's warmer. And then turning it toward like 4,400 or 4,600, that'll make it cooler. It all depends on your preference. Preference, I prefer warm light. Um, but yeah, you can just adjust it as needed, which again is super, is super cool about this. You kind of, you can, whatever lighting settings you want, whatever you think works best for the type of video you're trying to make, you can do. Yeah. And also for those that, if you could explain, for those that don't know that are watching this, they don't know what, what you mean by warmer and cooler. If you don't mind just, just kind of touching on that a little bit. I mean, we could talk lighting all, all evening here, <laughs> but you know, for those that don't understand the terms warmer and cooler, just kind of talk about what those are. Right, so warmer colors are basically sort of more orange tones, things like that. And then cooler colors are like bluer tones and things like that. So if you see lighting that looks more blue, that's cooler lighting. And then you see light that looks like it's a little bit more of an orange tone, that's warmer lighting. And also there was a question in the chat. Um, can you really shoot in portrait mode with your phone? I was told it was landscape. 
Um, I think it depends if what you personally want to do. Landscape is what's recommended, but if you wanted to just do something like, you know, a lot of kids are using ring lights with their, with their TikToks. Um, you have the, um, I'll actually, the holder does give you options for both portrait and landscape, which is why I included that, but landscape is what you really should be shooting in. But you can do portrait mode if you want for just your fun little selfies or if you're just doing some Zoom calls with your friends. And in but, regards, go ahead, Haley. I, was I would just say stick with landscape if you're trying to do more kind of professional stuff. But again, portrait mode, you can kind of do for fun. Yeah, the general rule of thumb in, is to shoot in landscape mode. That's the way I feel. I, I think everyone, anyone, if you have the opportunity to shoot in landscape mode, shoot in landscape mode in, regard, <laughs> in regards to a, like a, a smart device. Anything else out there? Anything else you wanted to add, Haley? Or? I think I am good. I just wanted to say, if you do want to learn more about the ring light, definitely come to MCTV and set up a time to train and use it in person. I would be happy to show you. Like I said, this is my favorite piece of equipment we've ever had. You can have a lot of fun with this. So yeah, definitely feel free to email me to set up a, here, let me get out of my screen share so I can drop my email in the chat. If anybody, oh, copy that. Yeah, as you're typing, this is a brand new piece of equipment that we have here. We just purchased, it just came in, I believe, over the past month and a half or so. And we have all different types of lighting kits here. We have, you know, LED kits, the old, you know, candescent kits. We have LED lights you can put on top of a camera. But this light we're really, really psyched on because it's it's super usable in a wide variety of situations. Um, it's, it's that great middle ground between putting a small LED light on a camera and bringing a whole three-point LED kit, you know, which is good for you know, really high-end type stuff. But this is the kind of the super utility light that, you know, you can kind of take anywhere with you. And it comes in a really portable bag as well. It's, you know, it's extremely light and portable too. Exactly. And then for those of you who are watching who are thinking about becoming an MCTV member, um, feel free to also, my email is in the chat and my email was in our PowerPoint presentation. So you can reach out, reach out to me or you can go to marshfieldtv.org slash get involved. And if you want to become a member, you can rent out something as cool as this. Thank you very much, Haley. Thank you for, for just showing off the new ring light. Yeah. Um, and also this uh, Tech and Treats and all our other virtual Tech and Treats are on uh, online. They are on our uh, YouTube page. We do promote them on social media. I know coming down the pipe, look over the next few months, I know we have, we're going to be discussing our new podcaster option that's going to be available to members. Uh, we've been playing around with that a little bit. And we're going to be, I know there's some discussion about doing a virtual member social as we get a little closer to the holidays as those aren't way too far away. So, um, so with that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming and checking out our virtual tech and treats. Uh, if you missed it, you know, feel free to watch it online. And if there's a question you have, you know, feel free to reach out to Haley or someone else on the staff. We're more than happy to show you this great piece of equipment.